to go for, but now with the Labu Labu, you can kind of understand, right? You can look at the carry and can actually melt down some of the frontliners here coming in from MDH. Hmm. Yeah, here's the thing, right? Looking at the composition, again, I just want to say, MDH, they can single target, they, they, can, they can choose their targets. I think that is a big advantage for them. So it is going to be a test of skill. If they are able to find the correct targets, then they're in a good position to win themselves the fight. When we compare to the side of Malvinas Gaming, you don't have to be too harsh on who you're targeting. As long as you can clump them together, it's going to be looking good for Malvinas Gaming. But looking at the draft, I know a little bit towards MDH because I like this pickoff first style. We gotta see though, right? LaFell Mary come in the 10 heroes that is going to enter the line of dawn has been set. Uh you like MDH better? I gotta agree, self, so, as you jump into the land of dawn. Let's dive in to the land of dawn once again for game number two. Match number two of the day as well. A best of one. Volatile. Both teams will try to top their groups with this one. High stakes, as again, we get into the mid lane, and so far in this tournament, we've seen kind of a mix, right? Just based on game one, obviously still very low data, but mid control doesn't always equal the win early on now. Yeah, right now, Gunnar is establishing dominance in the jungle, forcing Prince uh, Friend to use the Retribution early, and looking more into this composition, Dragon, he's, he's gonna be way, way tankier, especially with the Vengeance, so looking at this, MDH, they really have to focus on what they're gonna do in the mid stage of the game compared to Malvinus Gaming, because I, I kind of feel like Malvinus Gaming, even though like they're early game-centric, it's kind. Of, it's pretty good if they just want to want to want to stall it out as well. Yeah, I mean they have to wait level four, right? Real world inflation, new Moon blast. They need level four to really impact the land of dawn. And of course, MDH they do need time in a sense. I mean, Jogu on that link should be more practical. But take a look here. Already aggressive maneuver on towards Steve. Will this be the first blood? I need my help. Will not pop that flicker just yet. No first blood in the first minute. Yeah, you know, both teams again just respecting each other. Not even a flicker or just a battle spell burnt out there. You can see both teams, they're just trying to play it slow. But in the XP lane, oh. Dragon here already doing so wow. much early on on the glue. And Joga is going to be forced to back off. Even though they kind of traded, right? The Lapu, the king, was able to clear it out, getting a bit more pressure to set up for the turtle. So that's the question we have to start asking now. Who's going to start it up and where is the countermeasure from the enemy team? For me, I, I would kind of say MDH should really try to force this out because Gunnar as the Cho doesn't really need the level 4 to have a lot of crowd control. So I kind of feel like if they can push the pressure a little bit earlier, it would be benefiting them. Uh, MVG, if they can if they can fight it out, then that's the way as well. Yeah, good rotations already from the side of both Malvinas Gaming and MDH, but it is going to be Malvinas who starts the turtle up. The King already popping in that Brave Spider. No ultimate for the Spider as Nart tries to open up the map. Will be stunned up by Stephis. Nart looks for a play. Jumps in with the way of the Dragon, bringing Harley back, and that's going to be Numenon Blast as well. That was the way popped into the back, but it's going to be the Numenon Blast connecting on the three members. It's still Jogo who finds the Retribution. Goes on to Stephis. It's a two for one. Jogo now still in the midst of it all. Dragon dealing so much with the split split. Nart knocking him up, getting out oh with God, the Shun Bruins. The King jumps in. Prince Fran is low. Joga is low too. They're just going at it. And it is going to be MDH who wins it in the end. A slam slam oh. in the end as well to smack Joga in the face to get a trade back. A good setup from Nart initially. Targeted the Yeev, gets it, and he gets taken down early, which means MDH can force a little bit more fight. But MV MVG managed to find some compensation taking down a member and let's see it's a reset for both but mdh is still in the lead yeah like i like that both teams are playing towards their own advantages right because mdh try to secure the mid laner first picking it off first is is very good but we definitely see the power when it comes to mvg just by having this glue like yes. oh my god like even the ladies like please don't run away i haven't been meta for so long let's fight uh, dude, you can see the glue practically just carried that team oh, fight, yeah. right? He was 1v3 and he didn't even have the vengeance for the fight. So <laughs> oh my imagine God. with the vengeance how much of a threat the glue is. What do you do against this man? This is not your jungle. This is my jungle. Oh my God, this <laughs> my name God. is Dragon. <laughs> I'm the jungle for this one. Yeah, you can see four members have to come over towards the purple side. It's now Narp 
jumped in, dishing out some damage, wow. bringing it back. Wow. Just a split split, and he saved the vengeance. It's all good, man. Wow. <laughs> if four people were there, ready to initiate, and even he's like, and a pheromis. Yeah, it's like I'm gonna split. This glue, man, in this update is again a very prio hero. Let's see though, MVG, can they extract this hero? Because actually, MDH, they have it. Their rotations are bad, right? No. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Second turtle. Who will get it? We'll see, right? It is towards the bottom side, and as you can see right now, both teams are still trying to play around that mid control. But we're gonna take a look at Joga right now, as he's actually able to dodge away from Prince Francis Taunt. Nart making a mistake there, gonna be dodged away from. Need my help. Or even with a Shadow Stampede. Both teams looking for it is Prince Fran and Joga wants to go for 50 50. Nart, an amazing actually kick oh my there. God. It's gonna be Joga who gets caught out. The turtle was actually taken away by Prince Fran as the king jumps in, dealing out some damage. Hey, hey, gonna be able to use the blazing whip clear out the mid lane. Dragon still surviving with the vengeance, still coming in with his split split, oh. and he survives the team fight. In the end, he falls to need my help, but it's a two for one in favor of Malvinus. MVG with the equalize here. Take a look at the gold chip already in minute number five. MVG Joel Crew almost picking up the kill earlier, but man, oh man, what a rotation. This guy rotates from top side to help the turtle. But fell. I gotta say, man, I kind of feel like we just gotta focus on the EXP laners, man, because yeah. the king as well as You're dragon, right. they're asserting dominance. And MDH, this this show, need my help on this fireman is a very good counter towards the glue because he had a lot of uh, HP, but now he hey, 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 is trying to run away. Oh man, hey, hey, not having the sprint jumps back to the battle mirror image just for Joel Crew to pick up that kill. And now it's really shaping up to be the game that we expected with Malvinas controlling the early game. Oh my God. Take a look at the items as well here. Yeep and Chan's Talimans are quite early, but another thing that pops in the screen is the items for that carry the fell. Yeah, honestly, I like that every single team has adjusted instead of focusing entirely on getting one core item. They're just kind of like splitting up, make sure, making sure that they get some passes from, from the item, like the Fury Hammer, as well as the Steel Lake Place, just to have extra uh, extra stats on your hero so that you can actually do a lot in the early stages of the game and mitigate any kind of uh, engagement that the enemy tries to fight. Yeah, and right now, Nart again going in for that aggressive play. Two times now he's been caught with that play. He wants to set it up. He wants to be the one to actually look for these proactive movements, but with the amount of mobility from Malvinas and with the stun as well provided by Steffe, he's not going to be able to do that at will. And now Malvinas, knowing that there's no roamer for MDH, they're completely controlling that top side and they're taking the turtle right now, uncontested for free. What I love about Malvinas gaming here is their execution is just so in sync and they do not forget about neutral objectives like turrets and of course this turtle they manage to find the third turtle let's see mdh they need some compensation here yeah, Goldie's what? building. No, honestly, like I'm, I'm, I'm looking at this game and I'm, I'm seeing what are they waiting for because Malvin is gaming. Look at this, the damage is so strong mm. and it looks like they're gonna engage oh my God. the jungler. Joga's gonna be caught there by the Numenon Blast and the real world manipulation basically zones everyone away from trying to follow that play up. MDH losing Joga on a Ling now that's behind of that Fredrin. The King using the Bravest Fighter just to clear out the waves. It's gonna be punished here by a dive, and it's gonna be the King who gets picked off, who jumps in for some more what? insane. He gets out. Steffe looking for the stun, jumps in, flickers as well under the wow. turret just to back smack him up. Harley surviving with one, one, buddy, one. My goodness, MVG, they are stepping on the gas here. The King needs to fall in the bot side, but take a look at this. MVG, they are looking to grab more space here, taking the tier one bot side, and seems like they will not get it. Still, MDH manages to defend that turret. Right now, MVG, they're just solidifying every single lane for themselves because MDH, it looks like they're, they're, they're kind of getting picked off one by one because Gunnard tries to get information, but because the carry is there, you're going to get popped so fast. And I kind of feel like this is creating such a big problem for the side of MDH because the glue is more tankier than the roamer. And when it comes to uh, Joel Crew on this carry, he really doesn't care who's in front of him. So right now, MVG, they're getting their win condition. The king goes in, but he didn't catch anyone. Nark gonna be able to find a way to drag it onto Sefe. That's just the roamer. That's gonna be the back line, targeted by Prince Fan. Oh, there now, it's real roamer ablation on top of the Faramis ult, as that's gonna be the blazing duet popped in as well. Harley caught low. Joel Crew still 
free hitting with a full HP bar. He's still actually going to be able to push MDH back, but it's MDH who finds the pick. Man, I can see why Carrie has been such a prior today. Remember, in the first game, and Carrie was also picked up by Black Wizard now. Another team fight is brewing up here, Mirko. No, Seems it's not like a team fight when there's dragon, right? It's just, true. hey, he walks <laughs> He's harassing. He He's harassing the members of MDH. But again, the first Lord is up now. It's very, very critical situation, especially for MDH. Nart looking for the play. Gets Prince Fran right there, but there's no follow-up. Is that the real-world inflation that actually locks them down? Need my help with no cult alter. <laughs> gonna be gunned down. That's the damage coming through. And Hehe <laughs> is gonna fall for the second time in this game to Joel Crew who's absolutely massive right now. MDH, how do they contest for the turtle or the Lord now? Honestly, I kind of feel like they got to slow things down a little bit yeah. because they've been, okay, even in the fight where they're all clumped up together, somehow MVG forces MDH to go left and right, never together. So far, we've seen MVG controlling the movement of MDH. You guys have to split up. And when they do split up, it's usually the damage dealers all alone, making it so that they're, they're very vulnerable to any kind of damage coming in from MBG. So right now, MBG, they're telling MDH, uh, you go left, you go right, yeah. I'm shot calling for you. I mean, you're right, MDH, they need to pick their battles here. They do not want to get driven by the side of MVG. MVG now, with the Lord push, is now established, has established a 3,000 gold lead. But take a look at this, another purple in bait, perhaps. Nart again in the midst of it all. Gonna be actually melted down there. That's Joel Crew oh. dealing so much. The cult altar just to save him. The Joga gets out. Doesn't get the purple buff, however. It's still Prince Fran who wins out that retry battle. And it is getting from bad to worse from MDH. With Malvinas completely controlling the map and even claiming MDH's jungle. Yeah, right now, honestly, man, I gotta say, this is just the second game of the day, but we can see the strength of Perry as well as Blue. MBG, they're sticking to their guns. They're actually trying to get one of the turrets here, but it looks like a very good defense coming in from MDH, but no, never mind. The king got caught, what? and the king is taking so much damage, but he still survives. What is that damage, my guy? Oh my goodness, Joel Crew is an absolute monster on the carry right now. You can see here MDH already executing the split push potential that they have because take a look at the items, take a look at the gold wow. here, carry 8,000 no gold. No golden staff yet. No golden staff no yet. No golden staff exactly. yet. So this is crazy. Explain. Like, I, okay, here's the thing, right? <laughs> It looks like in terms of the players, they've, there's two ways that you want to go with your build. Number one, quickly get your Corrosion Scythe, your Demon Hunter Sword, as well as your Golden Staff. But if you want to play a little bit more disciplined, you delay the Golden Staff just a little bit so that you get your Wind of Nature first, making it so that even if you do get engaged on, you can survive if your tank or your roamer is not there to protect you. So it looks like in this game, Mount Venus Gaming, they just do not want to lose their advantage that they've already piled up against MDH. So going for the for the, for the safe pick, that's good. That's so unfortunate for Nar, man. He goes on to Harlot, but the kick did not go through all the way. Hehe <laughs> still on the back line with a blazing duet, dealing a whole lot of damage, but Joel Crew does more. Dragon, Dragon. now on to Hehe, who has the sprint. Hehe is running for the hills, gets out with a battle mirror image, and it's a one for one. Nart for Harley, which is technically worth it, but... Oh, oh my god, okay, 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 we're good. We're good, we're good. We're good. Don't, <laughs> don't snitch, don't snitch, don't snitch. But there you go, he made it. But yeah, back to your point here, LaFell. A very intelligent item from the side of Joku. He doesn't want it, he knows he is dominant. He's he has enough damage, game, but he has enough damage, so let's be more respectful. But now the Lord is up. This is enhanced Lord, so MDH they need to figure something out. I kind of feel like if Joga can get a way to get onto Joe Crew, that's great. But we can see that Gunnar has been trying and trying and trying, and every single time he tries, he dies. It's not a good situation to be in. Wow. And hey, hey, just got down by Dragon. Oh. What did you do, Dragon? Dragon, look at him, look at him. He just walks up menacingly and four people have to Dra back off. Dragon is, Dragon. Dragon is just dragging everyone all around. Oh my, look at him, look at him. He's just walking with swag, man. He looks like he doesn't care. He doesn't care. He dragged him from the mid lane all the way back to the base.
Oh, he doesn't care, man. He doesn't care. It's, it's, it's a good mindset to be in when you don't have to care. This is why you ban glue. I feel like in this patch and this current tournament, if you're the first pick, you shoot fire glue. And if you're the second pick, you just ban that glue out. Let's see here the offense and defense for both teams. Seems like MVG with this gold established already. They might take two base turns if they're lucky. If MDH screws up, let's see. The King now jumping with the Bravest Fighter. What? Oh my goodness, the card oh. altar isn't enough. He flickers out just to die towards Joel Crew. Oh my god, does he have Golden Staff? Please tell me he has Golden Staff now, right? Yeah. Mirko, yeah, I... Ghani, answer this riddle. Well, what, what are you going to do against someone that doesn't die and someone that does too much damage? You run. You run. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. I do agree. You run. <laughs> that's just, okay. That's good riddle. It's a logical answer. That's a logical answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. But let's it's see. not the answer I'm looking for, but it's logical. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, what's the answer you're looking for? I'm looking for an engage by MVG. And they are doing it right now. Need my help. Gonna be taken down. Nart now still trying to zone down the members away. Jumps in with the Jeet Kune Do, but is not gonna be able to find a way to Dragon as the King jumps in with the Bravest Fighter. But again, it's just a cult altar defensively. There's no counterplay right now towards what Mount Venus are doing. They're even just walking into turret range of the base turret, dishing out some damage, sieging it down with no minion waves. They are absolutely controlling this game. Looking bleak for MDH. They are now behind 6,000 gold. Oh my god, another engage. Again, Dragon here. He just jumps in and he is going to be able to zone he he away with a nature pop, but that's the magic damage coming through. Joel Crew, free hitting on the back, oh. getting the double. The King, who has the damage reduction, will not be able to survive this. That's the mid base to be taken out without a minion. A single minion wasn't necessary for Malvinas. It's a triple kill over to Joel Crew. Joga, I need my help now, trying desperately to save the game. Dragon still able to jump in with the slam slam. Joel Crew targeting the base, and it's gonna be Malvinas Gaming who tops their group for now. 1 0 up against MDH. The runner ups from Latin America managed to sweep the win here in our second match of the opening day. Congratulations, but my god. What an execution by Dragon. They just force themselves towards victory. They just walk up and be like, 